hello welcome all welcome in another important video i hope you all are doing great and in this video we will see how to make our electron application auto updatable so these are the steps i have prepared to make any application auto updatable all right so just to avoid any confusion i'm going to start everything from scratch so in this case i'll start with creating new folder in our local machine so let's quickly go inside of our working directory and create new folder for our new project and i'm going to give it a name auto update electron I hope that makes sense so let's open this folder in our VS code that's perfect all right let's trust the author and inside of this we will write our basic electron application so there are several ways through which we can auto update our electron application the first and the easiest way is using github we can use github releases to auto update our application and if you don't want to go with github you can use your dedicated server and that server you can use to keep your updated builds so since this is just a basic example and all electron learners will not have their own dedicated server i don't want anyone to spend money if we have one way through which we can do the same thing in a free of cost so we are going to go with github releases and we will set up everything and whatever we will do in this particular video everything will be free of cost well there is a quick note for the mac users mac users cannot do this auto update process for a free because if you want to make your mac application auto updatable you will have to code sign your application first and then only auto update will work as far as i know there is no free way in a mac to code sign your application so in that particular case you will have to purchase specific license to code sign your application so in our upcoming videos we will also cover how to code sign your mac application but this video is specifically for windows users so without any further ado let's get started into the video so we are done with our first step we have already created new folder now let's go with the second step and we will have to create our basic electron application so in this particular case i'm going to use my internal vs code terminal and as you already saw how to set up basic electron application first thing that we need to do here is we need to run one npm init command and that will initial and that will initialize package.json file so all these steps we have already covered so i'm going to go pretty fast in this video so next thing that we need to do is we need to we need to install electron and let's create main.js file and we will also need index.html file well inside of main.js file we will have to import our app module first so let's use const app is equal to let's import electron and then we will subscribe one lifecycle event of app module and here we will get point where we can start creating our window so i'm going to call one create window function and we need to define this function as well so let's define one function create window so, so let's let's initialize one variable with undefined value and inside of it i'm going to create new browser window so we'll also need to import browser window from electron and here we'll need to create new object of browser window class i'm going to give some random width and height and we will load user interface afterwards and just to complete this path i'm going to use path module so this process will basically help us completing our entire path all right so i all right so it seems that's pretty much it for main.ts file and let's edit this html file as well so i'm going to put some heading tag inside of it later on we will edit this right 
All right. So we are done with this as well. Now let's go inside package.json file and add new script. That's it. Now let's try to run our application in a development mode. Well, this is happening because we forgot to edit our package.json file. So since our main js since our main file is main.js, so I'm gonna edit this package.json. So let's keep main.js. Alright, so now it is failing to load the resources. So we'll have to remove file protocol. Now let's try once again. Alright, so now this time it worked. I think that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.